Hey Globalcon, my name is Mike. I'm here to take on a little collection of my uh, global set of the card Creature Bond. Definitely not the most famous card in Magic and quite possibly the worst. However, the first card I remember ever owning. Um, this is the first physical copy of the card. Um, I had this as a young kid, um, you can tell. Um, and it inspired quite the collection here. Uh, a little bit about me. You guys might remember me uh, from uh, the Alpha 40 Leagues, Old School Leagues. I've uh, been a competitive legacy player for about 15 years. Um, just really enjoy Magic uh, from Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with the actual global set of this card. It's actually, whoops, sorry, very simple. Um, uh, the card only appeared through 4th edition in the English versions here. Uh, I've got a few little oddities, bits and pieces here um, that I can show off to you. You can see there's the Alpha, Beta, Unlimited, um, Collector's Edge, Revised, 4th Ed, uh, Alternate 4th Edition down there at the bottom. And I've got Summer 1 around here too. There we go. Um, I've had this collection together for a few years now, actually. Um, started this project when I um, got bored and just came across a really nice alpha version of the card back, um, I don't know, probably when I was in college. So, happy to share the collection here today. Uh, Got to start with my PSA 10. Uh, that's a nice one there. Um, also have a BGS 9.5, still looking for a 10. Uh, any version of that card. Um, additionally, a PSA 10 of a more exciting set than Unlimited might be great. Um, there's a Beta BGS 9.5. And um, another graded summer one here I've got lying around. Um, I actually don't collect a ton of copies of this card. Um, obviously, it being a common, there's a lot of them. Um, the only copy that I've... Uh, collected in mass rather than just having a singular nice copy uh, is the uh, collector's edition version. Um, I do own a significant portion of the print run of this card. Um, it's more out here for you. You get the point. Um, Playtest card wise, this card uh, actually did not have an alpha playtest um, however, it did appear as a backer for the Spectral Chaos. And then uh, here is two of the four uh, Portal Playtest cards um, ever made. Uh, artist proof wise, I have uh, a few proofs here. I do have two beta proofs, uh, two fourth edition proofs, and a revised proof. Um, the uh, beta proof here, uh, this one here came to me um, a few years ago, uh, pre-designed. Um, however, this one here was a reimagination of the art uh, by Anson, a uh, wonderful artist, wonderful guy. Um, always, always great. Uh, did this one for me in probably 2000, yeah, 2018, so it was right there on the bottom. Um, along with this one here, um, it was sort of a dealer's choice altar that he uh, did on the back of the uh, revised proof that I had uh, purchased at a convention. Uh, these two here are still waiting for art on the back. Um, other oddities here, uh, I've got a real nice uh, normal back. Presumably sun bleach on the front there. Um, however, it's kind of fun to look at if you put it next to one with some uh, real color here. You can really see the contrast. Maybe not as well on the webcam as in person, but uh, a couple ugly factory cuts. Uh, this one's showing a little bit on the other side. Uh, real ugly revised one there. Um, Alpha cut fourth edition. other factory errors. Uh, I got a couple unlimited crimps, uh, some of the nicer crimps that I've seen in uh, my time collecting. Um, they can actually kind of line up perfectly.
logically here, if you want, want to use your imagination. Uh, of course, you got to have a non-factory cut one as well. This is actually the only non-factory cut creature bond I have ever seen. I'm sure there's more out there. However, I obviously don't have them. Uh, ink error on the back of this one here. And then uh, my favorite copy, the, the card that I own, is uh, this Collector's Ed version. I found it in a bargain bin probably five or six years ago at a convention. Um, it's got about every feasible amount of damage on it. Um, it's got water damage, crease damage, um, scuffed on the back so bad the color came off of it. Uh, corners are gone. It's got a nice muddy fingerprint right on the lady's face there. Um, might be Dorito dust. You can't really tell. It's kind of orange. Um, a little bit of mold coming in there from the water damage. Um, it's one of the better talking points in my collection. It lives right in front of the binder. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and sorry I can't be there in person, and I hope everybody has fun today.